welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is going to just be a day in the life. And from my title, you probably know that we are not sending Campton to preschool. Um, I'm gonna talk about this a little bit later in the vlog, like all the reasons why we decided not to. But I've been getting that question so much lately, like all summer if we're sending Hampton to preschool and I have been going back and forth in my head on whether we should send him. And ultimately Alex and I decided we're not gonna send him this year. If you're new here, I would love to have you as a subscriber. So please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up. So y'all know that I am a tried and true fan and supporter of Home Chef. I have used Home Chef for I want to say years now and I will never go back to anything else. I've tried so many meal kit delivery services y'all and Home Chef is it. They're the one to try if you're going to try any of them. Try Home Chef because you won't regret it. I have seriously loved every single meal I've ever made from them. The ingredients are so fresh, so good. Alex loves it too. And when we order our meals, we get two meals per week, four servings each meal, just because we love having leftovers the next day and Alex eats a ton. So two servings just wouldn't work for us. But the other option is to get two servings and you would get three meals per week. So it just depends on how much you want. And it's just really convenient, especially for us busy mamas because the box is delivered straight to your door. All the ingredients are packaged fresh and measured out like exactly how much you will need and then you get a recipe card that shows you exactly how to make your meal step-by-step -step instructions with pictures and it's just amazing it's also really nice because you can just head over to their website and you can pick out what meals you want for that week and they always get new different meals for you to try every week too so you're never eating the same thing which is what i have a problem with whenever i make dinner and i go to the grocery store and get my groceries I am a creature of habit when it comes to that because I just don't have the time to run around the grocery store, get all new ingredients, and try out all of these meals that I have no idea what I'm doing and that I end up messing up. I never mess a home chef meal up and they always end up being so good. So I will continue to use home chef like till the end of time. I seriously love them so much and I actually have a great deal for you guys right now. So if you use my code Liza80, you can try out Home Chef and you'll get $20 off your first four boxes. So that's a total of $80, which is a really amazing deal. As I said before, we order two meals per week, but four servings each, but you can get three meals at two servings each. And with my code, which is gonna save you $20, um, your meals for the week only end up being close to $60 instead of $80, which is great. That's like $20 per meal, $10 per person. You literally can't do better than that. So again, if you guys want to try out Home Chef, I will have a link down below in the description for you. And again, my code is Liza80 to save you $80 off your first four boxes. Okay, so we're getting ready to head out soon. Um, Camden has his second swim lesson of the week, and we have to pack the babes up, get ready to go to the swim lesson. So I'm just wearing this really cute t-shirt that says mom life is the best life, which is so true. And then I have these Victoria's Secret pink leggings on. I actually got these last year, but the backs are super cute. And they're high-waisted, which is always nice for the mom bod. And then I just have my cute little rose gold blush um, Javiana flip-flops on. But I've been getting a lot of questions about jewelry lately, so I wanted to show you my jewelry that I'm wearing. So I have this really cute leopard wrap bracelet on. I've been wearing this for the past couple weeks now, and I've been getting a ton of questions. So this is from Victoria Emerson. I believe that's the name of the brand, but I will link it down below for you guys. Um, I'm not sure it's still in stock, but I will check, and I'll link something similar if I can't find it. But it's so cute. I love leopard right now, so... Pretty much everything in my wardrobe is leopard. Um, this t-shirt is also super cute and I have a bunch of different graphic tees from this brand. So I will link the shop down below as well. And then my necklaces, I'm obsessed with you guys. These both are from Made by Mary. Um, so I showed this choker last week on my vlog, but this is the poppy choker, which is so cute, goes with everything. And then I just recently got this necklace in, which is new. It's their little moonstone necklace. And I just think it is so pretty. I love it. So yeah, that is my mom uniform of the day. I literally live in t-shirts and leggings, you guys. Like, even in the summer when people are wearing shorts, I'm either wearing, like, long biker shorts 
or leggings. That's it. And then of course fall and winter are around the corner. So my outfit is still going to be t-shirts, leggings, but I'm just going to add a sweatshirt to it. <laughs> but for real, does anyone else just wear t-shirts and leggings all day? Like I literally feel like every single time I'm vlogging, I'm wearing a t-shirt and leggings. Are you guys getting sick of my outfits? Should I try harder in the fashion department? <laughs> I feel like I need to. I actually ordered this really adorable leopard headband from Amazon probably like a month ago and I have no idea where it is like at all and I'm pretty sure Camden hid it. Like he's been doing that so much lately with both my stuff and Alex's stuff. He hides Alex's cell phone and his keys all the time. We've had like a lot of issues with uh, finding Alex's stuff but he does it with mine too and I'm pretty sure like I hate blaming him but I'm pretty sure he hid my leopard headband okay I'm having a little watermelon snack and I think I saw this somewhere on Instagram I follow like a bunch of Trader Joe's pages but they were putting chili lime seasoning on the watermelon so I guess it's supposed to be like that tahine or tagine I'm not really sure how you pronounce it but that seasoning everyone's obsessed with that they put on melons I've actually never tried that seasoning before I've always wanted to but I've just never come across it um, but I did pick this up at Trader Joe's to try out on the watermelon and I love it it is so good if you like salty watermelon um, that you need to try this it has like lime in it it's so good To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better Okay, you guys, I completely forgot about all of these clothes. I was just folding Quentin's clothes on the couch and I just remembered that he had so many more clothes in my closet that I put away because they were like six month plus, I think, or like maybe even three to six months. And so I just put them away. I haven't even like washed these things, but they're like summer pieces, you guys. Like, look at this. I got this from a cat and jack at Target. It's so cute. Three to six months. Like, he should be wearing this stuff right now. I'm such an idiot. I can't believe I forgot about all these. Like, look at these cute shorts. These little joggers. Three to six months. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I forgot about this. Ah. Okay, well, we're going to a few barbecues this weekend, so he's definitely going to have to get some use out of this. This stuff is so freaking adorable. I'm going to go throw it in the wash right now. Oh, my gosh, look at this. So cute. Wow. And all the Batman stuff I bought him, like right when I found out I was having a boy, I went to H&M and bought him a few Batman uh, things because I thought they were so cute. I'm a little chunky monkey. You're a little chunky monkey? <laughs> Is that what I call Quentin? I call Quentin a little chunky monkey. Mm. Are you one too? Are you both my chunky monkeys? No. Yeah. You're my little cub bear. I'm your little cub bear? Mm. Oh. Mm. But I thought you were my little cub bear. You're my little cub bear, and what am I? Mama bear. Mama bear, and what is Quentin? The little baby bear. Mm hmm And daddy? He's the papa bear. The papa bear? Mm hmm Oh boy! We're the bear family, huh? Are you ready for your swim lesson? Not yet, Mom. Not yet? We gotta get ready to go. Mommy? What? Um, I want to... I want to watch a little bit of Leapfrog. You gonna watch a little bit of Leapfrog uh -huh. on your leap path? Uh huh. <laughs>
to swim lessons it started lightning and pouring and so they were canceled and it sucks because like right when we left the house we knew it was going to storm because the skies were like so dark so i called the country club and they were like oh no swimming lessons are still going on um the instructor is here so we were like okay so we drive all the way there and the second we walk in um camden's swim instructor was like oh no it's canceled it just started lightning and if you don't show up or if you cancel last minute they charge you so <sighs> alex was not happy at all he was like that was such a waste of time i don't know what's been going on with the swim lessons this week but tuesday we drove all the way there for no reason and we did it again today so <laughs> although tuesday was like totally my fault i just got the time wrong <laughs> what are you doing i'm on the phone with morgan you're smiling you guys are so cute Aww. Sweet boys. Okay guys, so I am actually in my car. It is the next day and I'm on my way to my lash fill. Um, I ended up not being able to vlog the rest of the night yesterday because I just started feeling kind of sick. Like my stomach started hurting. I started to feel a little bit nauseous. And so I just decided to put the camera away and start again today. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to my lash appointment, but I wanted to talk about why we are not putting Camden in preschool. I've been getting this question literally all summer, even before summer started, on whether we are sending Camden to preschool this year. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that Camden has never been to preschool. So he did not go at two years old, which I know a lot of people um, have their kids go at two, and then some people have them start at three. But... Okay, so I'm gonna be totally honest and transparent with y'all about this whole thing. I know that I'm probably gonna be judged on this. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of backlash and like comments um, on people just not agreeing with me and that's totally fine. I feel like if you wanna send your kid to preschool, it's completely up to you. It's not mandatory to do it. If you wanna do it, great. If you don't, that's great too. Honestly, I felt a lot of pressure to put Camden in preschool, um, even at two years old. And you guys know I'm a stay-at-home mom. I am also a work-from-home mom. I'm a full-time YouTuber, so I do work from home, but I also watch my kids. That's my number one job. I quit my job before I was a YouTuber knowing that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to stay home with my kids for as long as I could. But I definitely felt pressure from society to put my son in preschool. All of my friends have their kids in preschool. Everyone I know pretty much has their kids in preschool. It's all over social media, you know, first day of school, getting the backpacks and lunches and all the cute things ready for your kids to go off to school. And I went to preschool too. So I just felt like you have to go. At two or three years old, you have to go to preschool. Alex has never really been for preschool. He's always said that he feels like preschool is more of just daycare and that Camden doesn't need to go to preschool because we both stay home with him. We both work from home and he's lucky to be able to be home with his parents. So there's no reason to send him to daycare. I was always like, well, it's more of the social aspect. I want him to go to school so that he can make friends and socialize more. Um, I just think it'd be good for him and I think he'd enjoy it. And that was my whole thing. But Alex was never for it. Um, he thought it was silly. So we kind of let last year just go. Didn't really worry about it because he was only two. And then this summer started and I started thinking about it again and I really wanted to send him. Um, I just felt like it was something that needed to be done pretty much. And I had, you know, family, friends, everyone telling me, oh my God, it's gonna be great for him. He needs to go to school. 
the only thing he's ever known is just to be home with you and it would be really good for him and I agree on that aspect like the only thing he's ever known is just me and Alex and you know now Quentin and being home and family and then play dates um, he did do soccer last summer which he had fun doing but he didn't do it this summer just because I had Quentin and um, I had him in swim lessons so I just thought it would be a little too much so I started to talk to Alex about it. I started to look at schools, um, make appointments to go to like open houses and tour schools and all that stuff. Like really I looked into it. And then it was time to like actually sit down with Alex and really discuss him going. And Alex was just totally against it. I decided to completely hear him out because he's my husband. Like we have to talk about things. And after he explained all of his reasoning for why he did not want Camden going to preschool, I understood and it didn't have to do with that it cost money because yeah it does cost money to send your kid to preschool um, but that's really not what it had to do with it had to do with the fact that Camden is such an amazing little kid he is so smart he is so sweet he's so good-natured and he has been home with us his whole life and we like to take credit for the fact that he is the way he is I'm proud of him I'm so proud of him and I think that he is the way he is because he's been home with us and because we have raised him every single day he's been with us. We've taught him right from wrong. We have taught him what he knows um, with you know education so far, like counting and colors and shapes and math and all that stuff. It was hard for me to finally understand where Alex was coming from, honestly. But I finally realized that it is because everyone else's kids are in school is why I feel like Camden needs to go. I found an article. I was up nursing late one night. I think it was like four in the morning one night and I was scrolling the internet looking for articles on like not sending your kids to preschool because I feel like everything these days is all about sending your kids to preschool. And I came across this article that I thought was super interesting. Um, I was also considering homeschooling Camden, like homeschool preschooling Camden. Um, and I was like, oh, let me get like, let me order some preschool books. Let me order like the preschool curriculum and I'll just keep him home with me. Um, and I will teach him preschool and then I will set up more play dates and I'll do group activities with other kids and I'll get him into um, extracurricular activities so that he can socialize, but I'll teach him what he needs to know for preschool. And so I Googled that and I came across this really interesting article that I'm gonna link down below for you guys because it explains everything with exactly how Alex and I are thinking. And I think you guys would much better understand the article rather than me trying to articulate everything because I will just get everything like jumbled up. I read this article and it was like, bing, like a light bulb went off in my head. Like it gave me so much clarity and it literally put everything that Alex was trying to tell me like into the right words where I could fully understand exactly where he's coming from and I honestly agreed with it all. I think the best thing for my son is to be home with his father, his mother, and his brother right now. He's only gonna be little once, he's only gonna be young once, and I wanna spend as much time with him at home as I can because once kindergarten starts, it is mandatory for your kid to go to school and he's gonna go to school. But for right now, he doesn't have to go and He's lucky that I can be home with him and that Alex can be home with him. And we love being able to teach him new things every day and see him learn and all of that. As far as the social aspect, yes, I do think that Camden needs to socialize a lot more. So what we've decided is to put him in some really fun activities where he can socialize. I'm sorry for the lighting right now, you guys. I'm just driving and I don't know where the sun is at right now, but it's cloudy as hell out. I'm actually gonna get him into karate, which I think he will be great at. He's so energetic and I think he's absolutely gonna love doing karate. Plus, karate teaches like self-discipline. I think it'll be great for him. So I'm going to get him into karate classes, maybe like two to three times a week. I'm gonna continue with swimming, but we're gonna have to do indoor, obviously, cause summer's coming to an end, so he'll have his swimming. And then I also wanna get him into some like art class, like maybe like a music class or something artistic where he can just have fun with that. And I'm also going to take him to the library more. There's lots of um, like fun, um, like toddler groups at the library that they do like book like reading time and stuff like that so I'm gonna do that with him obviously I'll do play dates with my girlfriends and their kids and just stuff like that and I think 
I think he's going to be fine. I think he's going to be perfectly fine not going to preschool. Um, you know, we teach him so much at home. Like, Alex has always talked to Camden like he's like a full-grown adult. He's always explained everything to him. If they go out to the park, he'll explain everything. Like, they'll look at certain things and he'll go, do you know why this does this? It's because of this. Alex has always taught him ever since he was a little baby and he couldn't even understand what Alex was saying. Alex would show him things, would show him colors, and would teach him. And I think we are the best teachers for Camden right now, honestly, I do. With all that being said, I don't want you guys to think that like I think sending your kid to preschool is horrible because honestly I don't. I was considering doing it myself, but we just came to the conclusion that it was better for our son and our family for him to be home. If you do send your kid to preschool, that is amazing. I'm sure they love it. I'm sure they learn so much and it's great for you and your family. I kind of just wanted to give that little disclaimer so that you know people don't come for me because most of society today does send their kids to preschool. So probably people are going to be confused and not understand even though I just tried to explain everything the best I could um, but again please check out that article that I found down below in my description um, because it really does explain everything so well so that is the plan and that is why we are not sending our son to preschool um, I would love to hear your thoughts on it I honestly love talking to you guys in the comments down below. I love hearing your stories, your experiences, your thoughts. If you are completely against what I'm saying right now, that's fine. It's not gonna change my mind, so just keep your thoughts to yourself if you wanna be catty and mean. <laughs> but seriously, I know my subscribers are the shit. You guys are amazing and awesome and so supportive of whatever we do as a family. I did order a few preschool workbooks also on Amazon that he's been doing for the past couple weeks and he loves it. I'll link those down below because I really think those are great little workbooks for um, toddlers if you guys are interested. But yeah, that is that. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I would love to have you join my YouTube family and yeah, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't